Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining Mama's Confidence, where we interview mothers of confidence that start their own businesses, advocate outside in the world, and just awesome moms, right? Wonderful moms. So today we have Room Huggy. We have Jessica here. And I'm going to read a little bit of her bio to you guys. She is totally awesome, and she has her uh, product for sale on Amazon, right? It's on right. Amazon, right, Jessica? All right. And we have, this, we have the same names, and we're both awesome. We have two awesome mamas, <laughs> Jessica, two of the wonderful Jessicas here on Mama's Confidence today. So this is going to be an awesome show. All right. So Jessica is a San Diego native. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I don't like to do introductions too much. I like for you to tell from your heart, just from yourself, like, what you do, and just tell us your passion. So Jessica, sure. go ahead and tell everyone what you do and how you do it. Hello, everyone. So yeah, my name is Jessica. <laughs> this talk you know, and uh, my product is called Room Huggy and Earth Mom. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm from San Diego, California. And this project a few years ago. Oh, really good. Okay. Where we're going. Right. Wonderful. Wonderful. So you have been married for 15 years and you also have three kids, right? Yes, that's correct. Three. Wow. So how do you manage? How do you, how do you, number one, where did you come up with the idea? What, what struck the idea? What, so how did this happen? How did it come about? I called Room Huggy and it started when I was, uh, you know, kids in the middle and then it's still on the floor. Uh huh. After whatever we decided to do. I would off the timers and then I would take my towel and I'd wrap it up. This is what Dr. Manhart and I discussed. Wow. Yeah, I'm hearing a little bit of a breakup here. Um, okay. Are you doing this on your phone or are you? No, it's just hard for me to hear. So I'm... Oh, okay. Okay. It's kind of breaking up a little bit there. Um, are you next to, are you using your computer? No, is there a TV on or something? No, no. Um, I, I am. So. Keep going. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so I would just, I would take my towel that I would use to wipe off the counter, you know, when your kids were done eating. And then I would take that and put it on there. I'd take my hair clip that I always seem to have in and I would, I would take it and I'd sweep and I would mop and I would, I would be like, okay, I'm going to sew something one day. So that's where this idea came from. Then I started to tell their moms you know, like that I wrap a towel around my broom and they go, oh, I did that too. And they were like, okay, great. So that's kind of how the idea started. And then, you know, after going through the process of actually meeting a professional seamstress and, um, you know, and then getting a prototype and then actually getting it manufactured and now we're actually having it made in that life. So it's been a long process. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I actually um, out of my home office. So I apologize for all the background noise. Um, so I'm just going to mute myself when you talk, but I'm going to ask the questions in between. All right. So you came up with this idea, you started it, you got it out there. And then what did you do next? How did you actually get the product? Well, um, basically it was just, um, you know, word of mouth at first and kind of asking my friends and family if they thought it was a good idea. And most people came up and said, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, so we actually did a Kickstarter and that got like a, the word out. So we actually didn't fund the Kickstarter, but that really started the process of like social media and getting networking and getting it out with a bunch of people. And once that was over, um, people were like still wanted the product. So we kept going with it. So and all the people that originally went with the Kickstarter um, actually ended up giving us money and a little bit more afterwards and during that process we also um we met up with mastercard we did a contest and that brought in a lot of uh followers and excited people about the broom huggy um because we got second place so it was actually a contest of like new inventions so the that's wonderful that's <laughs> So that got a lot of media attention and like out there, we got a lot of articles written about us, bloggers, uh, I've done a few like little interviews. Um, so that's where we were at with that. And in the meantime of uh, 
making the broom hugger, we actually started making another product that I call Earth Mob. So that was kind of the uh, funding fuel to start the broom huggy because the broom huggy is a complicated process once we got into that manufacturing side. So, yep. So that's where how it kind of like the beginning of it. <laughs> so, so how does a mother of three juggle doing all of that? How do you juggle being a mom, working another job, as well as starting a whole entrepreneur empire, really? Yeah, it's, it's complicated some days. I mean, you really have to pick and choose on what you want to do. You have to make a decision every single morning on what you want to work on. You know, some days you don't get to work on your project. Sometimes you have to focus on the kids and sometimes you have to tell them no. And my biggest thing is you always have to ask for help. You know, you can't do it all. I work with a lot of moms that are like always stressing themselves out and always like running around just trying to do everything. And I'm like, you can't do everything. You know, it's okay that you can't do everything. Exactly. You know, and that, you know I've come to the conclusion that I can't do it all. So some days I work on the project and some days I work with my kids and they're actually getting a little bit older now. My youngest is four. And when we do shipments out, they all they really come to the table, the kitchen table, and we all package up the product together. So that's kind of a- That's awesome. So you're creating a legacy. I hope so. <laughs> that would be amazing. So um, yeah, I mean- that's You are, you definitely I are. If they're taking the time out to help you package things and doing everything, they're getting that and they're seeing their mom go out for her dreams and they're, you're also ingraining that into their minds. So that's great. Right. I mean, they're very excited about it. It's really funny. They're always like asking, mommy, are we going to play with Broom Huggy today? Or, you know, they like to put the stickers on the package. I mean, it's really a family event. All five of us sit down, when, you know, when we get an order, we have to ship out a thousand. We are all just like packaging and, you know. Wow. So you guys have like a little production line in your house, right? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Actually, <laughs> but it works, you know, so, you know, they're excited about it. And I think it's setting a good example. So, you know, we're hoping to keep getting these products out and getting the word out. I mean, that's what it's all about. And, you know, we're excited about the product. And a lot of people are enjoying it. So we're getting tons of good feedback on Amazon. So we're, we're hoping to get to the next level in the next six months or so, because we've had interest from QVC. Um, and we've had interest from, uh, you know, we can do like online stores. So that's where our next goals are going to be. Nice. That sounds awesome. Now, okay. So how do you, as a, a mother, as an entrepreneur, you know, as an inventor, <laughs> how do you, you know, tell others about your services? You said you, you had some bloggers, you had some um, advertisements and things to that effect when you were, you know, trying to put together the actual product, but you know, what were the actual, like, one, two, three steps? You came up with the idea. Did you do a business plan? Um, well, the, the, the first thing we did was, it's kind of a funny story, is I actually so, took a towel, like a dish towel, and sewed a shape, it's like the way the actual shape is. It's a little bit different now. But I actually sewed a towel, just took my stitch, and I brought it to a seamstress, and I literally brought her a dirty towel. We still laugh about it. <laughs> and she's like, what is that? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and she, I'm like, it goes on a room. And she looks at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, yeah, well, it's kind of interesting. And then once I showed her what it was, she's like, I do that. I, I, I sweep them all up with my towel. And I'm like, yeah, so I want to sew something that goes on there. You know, and once we actually had something of, that we could touch, that's when the, you know, we could start like doing a little bit of marketing. I think the biggest thing that we did, like we did a, a, a party, we threw a party for all of our friends and family, the start of the Kickstarter. And that was really the beginning steps as far as, it, you know, to see what would happen there. And we just got so much interest with, you know, um, like bloggers and people looking for content and new products. It's actually a really small community uh, of inventors. You think, oh, there's so many products, but there's really a lot of people that don't, they have ideas, but they don't take it this far. So, I mean, there's a lot of steps going, finding a, someone that you can actually work with. The manufacturer is really, um, that's a challenging step. I mean, we're lucky because- That was my next question. Like, yeah. what it, how, have you come in contact with, um, you know, some surprises. 
Definitely with manufacturing. I mean, we're really lucky because we live in uh, close to Los Angeles, which is a huge hub of actually creating products. So it's about a three hour drive for us. So it's not completely out of the question to drive up there for the day. It's definitely your whole day of the traffic, but you can get back and forth in, you know, the day. So it's a, that was definitely a surprise to go through and try to actually find somebody that will work with you. Cause those, those manufacturers, they're looking for big, big dollar amounts. They, you know, it's really hard to just make, you go and you say, oh, I want to make a hundred. They look at you like, oh, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so it took a little bit of time to go up and find somebody, but you know, it's, if you're really, really serious about it and I was interested in, it, luckily my husband is, you know, he's the other half of the team here. Um, so we're both entrepreneurs at heart and we kept it going. So and now, now is your husband to... there with you as well? Yeah, he's here. <laughs> okay. Can he hop on? Is he, is he okay with hopping on? <laughs> um, I, don't know. I have a question. I have a question from him. I have a question for him. Uh, let me have him pop in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like his, his teeth, you know? <laughs> oh, no worries. Just really quick. I just have a question for him. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, so Steve, as, as your wife's going out there and she's really going for her dreams, how does that inspire you? And then how have you been able to support your wife? Well, um, we really work together on everything. That's one of the things that drew us together is our entrepreneurship. And we've done some other businesses in the past. And uh, so we're kind of diving into the product thing together. So it really is a two, two way thing. We wake up in the morning, we work on this, we talk about it at night, we talk about it on the weekends, talk about it in the car. So it's kind of like broom huggy, broom huggy, good morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really that's all we do. So 24 hours a day, um, you know, so as far as support goes, it's really a back and forth. You know, I'm more technical with the social media stuff and Jessica's, you know, better with the idea of the concept and getting out there and talking to people and so yes yeah. so it's a partnership you really two are working in a partnership at home at home as well as in the office right absolutely yeah so i'm pretty sure it makes it interesting right yeah. you're kind of like oh yeah honey are you in the mood it's like no broom huggy dude we have to focus yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we really enjoy it so it's it comes it's so easy for us to do this it's what we like to do um, you know, it, it really drives us. So it's not work at all. You know, yeah. they say when something's not work for you, you know, it's what you should be doing. So, um, definitely, definitely to do this. Yeah. And it's exciting. It's fun. You know, we go up to Los Angeles, like Jessica was telling the story you asked about manufacturing. We literally drove up to Los Angeles and drove around all day, just asking people who, where should we go? This is what we're trying to find. We would get an address and a number and go to that place and talk. To wow, them. that's amazing. So we yeah, met people in person until we found a place that said, you know, I can do a sample for $25. And we said, OK, we'll get you the material. So that's really what it took. It was just feet on the ground, you know, just yeah. trying to, to work it out and learn. So it's, it's new for us. But we've spent a lot of time. I mean, this started two years ago with that idea. Um, you know, like Jessica said, uh, with our family, you know, we work on it as we can. So, um, it kind of took that year to get the design worked out. And then once we got to that point where we said, okay, this is what it's going to be. Then we did the big launch and that was this year. So now we're to the point where we have production models that we can sell. So now we're with those samples, we can go out to other, uh, distribution avenues, you know, so yeah, so it's been, but it's taken a long time. It's not easy. It's not just an overnight thing. <laughs> no overnight. Oh. Here. <laughs> Good. I'm so glad that you said that. I'm glad that you said that you have to get out there and really take action. And really, you know, you are definitely a mama of confidence, Jessica. <laughs> I am in awe of you. I'm just like, wow, I'm going like this. <laughs> <laughs> And both of you guys, because yeah. I, I, number one, I value your relationship and your partnership as well as, you know, just getting out there and doing it together and knowing that you don't need a large team. You don't need to go out there and find someone else. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. We have I'll let Jessica take over. I'm going to go back to the social media. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Got to keep it going. So, yeah. So let me, let me show you this product a little bit so people can yes. understand what 
what we're, we're talking about here. They don't know what a broom huggy is, which a lot of people don't still. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, but Jessica, before you get started there, I want to ask just one more question. Um, you were selected as a finalist of the MasterCard contest. How did that all well, like I said earlier, we got second place with that. Um, we there was three finalists selected. There was, and um, the actual winner was a Shark Tank uh, uh, company. So it was kind of I felt a little bit uh, saddened by it because <laughs> I was like, they just got a, a five hundred thousand dollar TV deal with Mark Cuban, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm looking for fifteen because it was for fifteen thousand dollars. So that would have really got our production started at the time. So it took took us back a little bit. We were hoping, but Mastercard was super grateful. They gave us. Um, a lot of uh, publicity and they gave us a little car for $250. So, and it, you know, we got the prize of second place of, you know, new products. So it was really exciting and I was super grateful. I wish I would have won because it would have <laughs> launched us a little bit uh, quicker. So, <laughs> but um, so yeah, it was a good process. I mean, it was, it was uh, just make a video about your, your product and see what happens and they picked ours. So it was really exciting because Susie Welch was uh, Jack Welch. It was one of the judges. So I was really, uh, she's one of my like idols. So I was like, I'm super excited that she got to see my product and voted for me. So maybe wow. she'll come around. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Send her out a tweet. Send her out. Yeah, I have. I'm like, come back. We can still use your help. <laughs> So, yeah, definitely. So, show, yeah, show us how this. All yeah, so basically, here's what a broom huggy looks like with uh, just without it being on a broom. It's actually got a really scrubbing edge. It's um, this actually goes over your broom. So and then it also has like a plastic liner inside because you don't want your broom to get wet. So there's nothing worse than a wet broom and it makes your floral streaked. And then the other side is just like a sponge. So it's a big sponge that can go over your broom. And basically what happens is when you put it on, you can actually sweep and mop at the same time. So it's a huge time saver. So it actually just fits really snug on your broom. Um, it, um, and then it attaches by a Velcro snap. So with this design, it fits most brooms. The long straw brooms, it doesn't fit down the road, we'll, we'll come up with an idea for that one. Um, but this is um, this is a patented design, so that's a whole nother process and a conversation in itself. But yeah, so it just, it's when you're done sweeping and mopping, you can sweep it right into the dustpan, pop it right off, and it goes into the wash. So you can pretty, you know, for most average people's floors, you know, a couple hundred square feet, you can do with it. I mean, if you have miles and miles of kitchen, you'll probably need two per thing, or you can just wash it off. But for an average kitchen and cleanup, it's good. You can you can use it per time and then just wash it. So that's kind of what a broom hoe looks like. This is our packaging. So you just have a little thing on there. It says, thank you for ordering. This is what you would get if you were on Amazon. Um, so we do sell on Amazon, um, or you can go to broomhuggy.com. Great, awesome. Can you show us how well, with the camera right now, I can't really go on to the, but you can you can kind of see how it would just sweep like this. I mean, there's really, it's basically just a sponge that goes over your room. So that you use your broom identical to how you would use it, except for that if you see a spot that you would need to mop, you can actually just use the scrubbing edge, turn it around and give like a little scrub or you can go like this. So it's basically just an attachment for any broom. So you use your broom. So it's it's really a big time saver. I mean, people don't, the, the reason that's so unique is nothing attaches to a broom right now. Like if you go to a Walmart or Costco or Target, wherever you shop, there's nothing that attaches to a broom. So, I mean, if you think of like, you know, there's broom or mop heads, but there's nothing that actually goes on your kitchen broom. So that's where our challenges are, is kind of people don't understand, like, I don't need anything on my broom. Well, this creates a sweeping action and a mopping action because you can get one side wet. So you can do one side wet, you can do both sides wet, you can do it both dry. And the other good thing is you can go up high with it. We just, uh, you well, did, I love, I love, yeah, so you can do so like if you had cobwebs in your corner or you have a tall 
ledge ceiling, you can just go like this and you have the whole eight feet of your broom to go and get any corner. So there's a lot, of, it's really versatile. So, and it's, you know, it's good for the environment because you don't have to use anything, it's, it's reusable. I mean, it's, a, it's basically a big sponge. So, um, because it actually has foam inside. So it gives, the, it gives it shape and more like grip when you scrub. Okay, so I can totally see this when my kids are wasting things on the floor, when they're dressing, dressing their juice, you know, wasting their cereal, all that good stuff. Right. right, and it's made out of microfiber, and it's one of the higher-end microfibers. Microfiber, what we've learned in manufacturing, there's different grades. I mean, just with any fabric, there's different. But we use the highest quality fabric. This is essentially a big purse. Once we found out the manufacturing floor, your, your broom is kind of made like a purse. So it's kind of interesting, but it's really high quality. So people like that. So, cause it, it'll, it won't fall apart in the wash. So you can have this for a long time. I mean, some people are probably up to a year. So that's good. And then- when Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, so people, if, you, if you're watching this either on a re replay or if you're watching this here um, on Blab, please share this on Twitter, share this, um, share, share with an aunt, as they say on Facebook, <laughs> share with your auntie, your sister, your mom, your friend down the street, share, share. Right, that would be awesome. Just because that's our biggest challenge right now. Once people see it, they go, wow, that's great. I want one. And they get one because we're selling them for $16.99. So it's a super good price. You know, you can't really get too much. There's nothing under $20 these days, right? Um, so it's exactly <laughs> it's a really it's a really inexpensive no brainer but the problem is people like I said people don't know that they need an attachment for their broom unless they uh, wrap a towel around their broom I mean there's lots of people that clean that do that so that's what I found I was like oh okay yeah I, I wrap my towel around my broom so I was like okay great I'm not the only one <laughs> so then our other product that actually was kind of invented in this in the middle of this project because we had a lot of extra material from this um, when we were making it and we also wanted something that was a little bit cheaper to make so um, this is actually called an earth mop and it, it's see a swiffer you can see the swiffer here everyone knows what it's called. yes yes we know. You know, by those boxes that you throw away the towels well, we actually created a cut towel that fits perfectly onto your swiffer. Wow, it kind of looks like a diaper. Diaper. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, yep, it goes right onto that swiffer, and um, that way you don't have to throw things away because with this, yeah, and then you reuse it, so it saves you a lot of money and it's good for the environment. And it just, as you can see, I just poked it in exactly the same as the towel that you would, and again, it's made of that high quality microfiber. So, and it just goes right onto that Swiffer then. You would use it identical. Except for throwing it away, you just pop it in the wash. So, and we've been selling this product for about three months and it's going really well. So. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and we also sell this on Amazon. But Broom Huggy, we just started selling a couple weeks ago. So it's brand new to the market. <laughs> So, yeah, so yes, cool. we will have those links listed um, down below on YouTube, okay. and we will also have those links. Um, if you have the link, can you go ahead and plug in the link? Is your husband still available? Can he plug in the link and also share the broadcast on Twitter for us okay. while we're talking? Yes, I think he's doing that right now. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Oh, he's on it. Love him. <laughs> All right, so I have a couple other questions for you. Um, you're a mom of confidence. If we have some mamas out there that have an invention in mind, they want to get started, what gave you the confidence to do that? What would be one tip that you have to give a mama confidence to get out? Well, I think the biggest thing that you can do is first give yourself validation of the product. Because if you have to really like it, because there's going to be a lot of no's when you get out there. Even your family might be no. So you want to get confident that you're that you really like this product and you're willing to put your whole face and all put yourself out there because once you start a product and you're out there and people know you for that product so if you really really like that product then you need to go find other people that are going to validate that product with you and, get, and go through the ideas and you know really start building a team around you 
and going, okay, well, you said that you like this product. So when I get this product, you're going to help me, right? <laughs> and that's kind of what I went around and did. I mean, I went on Twitter. Twitter has been a huge, huge help for me. Like I keep up with people. Like that's kind of my, my specialty, I guess, is I keep going with people. I'll keep like with you. Now that I've met you, I'm always going to continue to chat with you. Oh, me too. That's what I do. I'm a collaboration. So I will be right there with you. Like, yes, let's get it out there. Let's get it out there. <laughs> You really have to be a really big cheerleader for yourself, you know? So that's, you know, if you're confident with your product, then you can get out there and go with it. And you just have to be able to like kind of on the fly, talk to people about it. And, you know, um, so that's my first tip. And then the second tip is probably um, just be realistic. You know, you have to really have give yourself realistic goals. I have a million ideas, <laughs> you know, that's the way I am. But most of them are unrealistic. You know, there's a lot of, just like, say you want to make a cup, like a special cup. Um, that mold to get a cup is going to be about $50,000, you know, and you have to find it and you get one shot because of the mold, you know, or if, if you think, okay, I want to have this business, but I don't live there. You know, like I did real estate when I was young and it's like, I knew that I could only buy property where I live because I can't be in Connecticut if I live in San Diego, and it's, you know, without paying a thousand dollars. Exactly. You know, so. I think that's a big piece that you hit on, Jessica. As entrepreneurs, we have like a ton of ideas, like to where it keeps us up at night, right? We're like, yeah. like oh my gosh, I can do this, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. But you really have to narrow down and be realistic. So that's. Yeah. I mean, you just have to kind of funnel in and see what ideas you can actually accomplish with your time limits, your maybe budget limits, your, you know, like I'm not very good with computers. So, I mean, I wouldn't start a business with where I needed help that, you know, with a ton of help with computers for myself. Now, my husband's the opposite. He could, he could start a business like that, but he probably wouldn't start a business where he had to go and, uh, you know, really network or go around and like, just be with a bunch of moms, you know, like, you know, there's limitations on who you are, you know, and it's like, exactly. You and you have to find your tribe. Yeah. I wouldn't want to like have a product. This is definitely a product of where I'm at in my life right now with three kids. You know, this represents me. I'm always cleaning my house. I have three kids that are spiller. It makes sense to me. I can relate to a bunch of moms with this you know I wouldn't want to go and sell like a bikini line right now <laughs> that would be hard for me <laughs> I gotcha. no that's definitely where I am I'm a mom of six so I'm consistent I'm always consistently cleaning up something <laughs> so definitely a product I would mean and that's what I like to do I like to make sure that I'm interviewing others that have either a product I need or so those are kind of my tips. It's just, you know, it's okay to dream big, you know, and have ideas. I mean, there are definitely, I mean, I'm sure there's people that have done it, but for me, I, I try to keep to my realistic options. So, because, you know, th there's just so many people and it seems to be really popular right now when I started being, you know, when I was born, I think I was an entrepreneur, but you know, once I got into the world these days, I think with Shark Tank and like there's some new shows and all the social media, everybody has, wants to be an entrepreneur right now. So it's, you've got even more competition coming in. So you really have to find your unique spot, what works for you. So oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so now I have my next question is, as a mom, we all we all have like a funny video, a funny um, topic or a funny thing that our kids have done. So what's one thing that either your kid has done to embarrass you or that's just over the top funny? <laughs> well, the, yesterday morning, my four year old son, he <laughs> I don't know if this is this is just what came to the top of my mind. He came up to me. He's all mom, would you be a deer and get me a glass of milk? <laughs> I'm like, where did you hear that? <laughs> it's like, okay, you I'll be a deer and get you that glass of milk, you know. So I mean, as far as <laughs> that was just a funny thing they said yesterday. Um, yeah, that is too funny. That's too much. Be a deer, really. Probably one of the most embarrassing stories was when my daughter was two. She 
you know, I had a double stroller because I had back to back kids and I was shopping, I think at Burlington and she had, so you know how the front slider of the double slur, uh, stroller, they could go through and, and run away. Well, she had taken her shoes off and she had slipped through the bottom and was running through Burlington. And I was like, oh no, where is she? So, and then her hair was all messy. And then all I could see her, I lost her for about 10 minutes and I was kind of starting to freak out you get to that point where you're like oh my gosh where is she because she's hiding under all the clothes racks you know things it's funny then I see this little kid running running uh through the aisles and her hair's messed up with no shoes and she's like I pooped I pooped you know and I see this little like you know diaper waddling through and I'm like yep that's my child proud mom here you know <laughs> exactly it's one of those moments where your, your mommy okay. says just go so crazy yeah there's my I'm missing with no shoes and poop in her pants. So I'm like, great, let's go now. <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what's so funny about that? I've actually been there. Maybe not the poop, but I've been to where I've been like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah. you just feel like you're the worst parent in the world. But no, no, we've all had. Yes. You know, I always, you know, when I first had my first, I had all these like rules like, oh, I'm not going to go anywhere with no shoes. I'm not going to have any hair. I'm not going to, they're always going to look neat and proper. They're going to get up. They're going to go to bed. They're going to eat healthy. All that went out the window. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> I gave up. By the third one, I was like, I, I always see those first moms that have everything perfect. By the third one, and probably by the fifth and sixth one with you, are like, as long as they're alive, we're good. Exactly. Yeah, I used to have a thing about snotty noses, about, oh my gosh, that mom should make sure they have tissue. And yeah. I got to the point where I'm just like, use your shirt. Yeah. Just wipe it. <laughs> right now, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, I think, well, once you get past the couple first two, you're just like, okay, as long as they're alive, we're good. No broken bones. Exactly, exactly. As long as you're breathing, I'm fine. I'm a great mom. <laughs> Kudos, you know? You, you exactly. eat today and cereal for dinner is not a thing. Yeah. You know, whatever works, you know, you got to get through each day. And all they remember is that, you know, you look back and you love your parents, regardless of you're living in a box or you have a mansion, you know, it does, they all have the same issues. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> Exactly. And they all look back and they remember the good times, you know, and they remember those little moments when you just have those mom moments, you know, and you just like, oh, I love you. Yes. And then you have those other moments where you're just like, where did you come from? <laughs> where in the planet are you from? <laughs> Yes. Like it's like you're acting just like your father. We don't want that trait. We want to get rid of it. <laughs> yes, yes. Isn't it funny how you see from both sides? <laughs> All right. Okay. Lost my picture there. Help. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think I lost you. Got off on a little tangent of motherhood. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're just going to keep it moving. All right, so, so thank you so much, Justin, yeah. for coming on. I'm going to try to work on my camera. I'm not sure exactly why it's not working here. But um, I have one more question for you as well, so we can close this out. Um, so you've started the product. What, what can we do to help you? What, what do you need from us as a community? Well, I mean, definitely the education part of Broom Huggy is probably the number one priority is just spreading the word and letting people know there is a product out there that can save you some time and money when you're sweeping and mopping your floors. So that's just as, you know, very affordable and it's good for the environment. So those are like the key points of the broom huggy that we work on on a daily basis of just letting people know that there's some new options out there. So if you could just like, you know, tweet out or email out or, you know, this Christmas is coming out if someone wants to support us and get one for a Christmas present. Yeah, so, you know, we're just, we have some inventory, so we're ready to sell them. We just started and it's going good. So if you think you uh, have somebody that would be interested in, and, you know, someone who doesn't really like cleaning their floors, that's probably the biggest thing that the broom huggy came from is, you know, sweeping and mopping. Maybe you would do one or the other, but maybe you didn't have time for both. So this kind of creates that um, 
you can do both at the same time. So that's why that's why I basically came up with this just to save some time. So great. And again. what is your website? What's your website? So it's broomhuggy.com or earthmop.com, and um, or you can just go onto Amazon, and and that's where we're selling them. The majority is Amazon. So yeah. Else. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, I'm very available. Um, I, I definitely talk to everybody. I'm not, um, I, I'm very active on social media. So people, not, not tweeting constantly, but if you email me or if you send me something or if you have interests or questions, I, I, I pretty much respond to you the same day, if not the next day. So <laughs> great. Are you looking at doing maybe an ambas ambassador um, program or anything to that effect? I, what do you can you give me an example? Um, so like ambassadors that would be willing to um, possibly just promote for you in exchange for a broom huggy or doing anything like that. Are you looking oh, to do it. something like that? Oh, yeah. So anyway. All right. All right. Yeah, so if there's anybody out there that wants to sample the broom huggy, so what I've been doing is if you if you go onto if we talk, you send me an email. Um, if you want to get one, we can send you one through Amazon. And then what's your email address there? Well, um, just Jessica at simplysayhi.com, or um, or just find me on Twitter, or Facebook, and send me a direct message or tweet to me. And if you're interested and you want to actually try a broom huggy, we ask that you just give reviews or do a video and tweet about it. Cause that's the biggest thing that we're looking for. So if you have access or you feel comfortable in front of a camera, we were asking people to do like actual sample videos because that's where the magic comes for this product is actually seeing it used. So, um, because it's hard to um, explain it without actually seeing it. So definitely, if, if you know people that would be interested and, and they want to try it, sure, give me a call or text or. Okay, definitely. Yeah. Well, I definitely want to sample it. So I will be shooting my email to you and I'll be tweeting you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So thank you so much for coming. Uh, Coming on to Mama's Confidence, you are yes. definitely a mama of confidence, like I said before. Um, is there anything else you want to close out before we close out our session here? Is there anything else you want to add? Um, you, you have your, I'll put your website link down as well as your Amazon link. Yeah, I mean, just thank you so much for having me. And like I said, if you are interested in getting that broom huggy, just go to Amazon.com and maybe I think it's going to make a great Christmas present. So we're hoping to sell out for Christmas. So, <laughs> so this will definitely be on my guest list. Um, I'm putting together a list of the top 25 things you should give a friend for Christmas. So I'll definitely put this down on my list. Nice. Um, so. Okay. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching Mama's Confidence, where we interview Mamas of Confidence. I want to thank Jessica and the Broom Huggy, as well as the, it's the Earth, give me the other project, the oh, other product. Earth Mop. And Earth Mop. And how much are you selling the Earth Mop for? You get a three pack for $14.99. Awesome. Yes. Wonderful. And you can wash that, correct? Yep. It's, it's washable. Awesome. Yep. No, that's that's, a, that's a great deal. Great, yeah. great deal. All right, so thank, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, as always, get out there and take action. If you are a mom of confidence and you want to start a business, you want to be an entrepreneur or an inventor, just like our mama here, please get out there and get started. If you have any questions along the way, I'm here for you. Motherhood can be lonely, but it doesn't have to be because you have me, <laughs> Jessica A. Walker, Jaw. So thank you so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful day, guys. See you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.